Hello, so the video today is to introduce you to the smart frame. So this is the ultraviolet frame that Lawrence and myself have been making for mm, three years. But we've done a bit of an upgrade. We've been working on this for quite a while um, in the background. And we've added a few exciting features. So it's going to start off kind of dull, but it gets better, I believe, trust me. So we have a microcontroller now controlling the frame. So we can do things like, this is ultraviolet mode obviously. We can adjust the brightness of the ultraviolets to bright. So dim, brighter, 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 and so on. Now, here's the brightest. But there's more than that. So Lawrence uh, recently made some anaglyphic 3D overlays and the thing about them is they needed white light. So what we did was we have added some RGB LEDs to produce white light. So you put it on with a white light and you can adjust the brightness of that just the same way as you can adjust the ultraviolet brightness. And then you get your anaglyphic 3D glasses and this will pop out as an amazing 3D image. And they do look really cool. But once we had the RGB LEDs we're thinking well there must be more we can do with it than that. So if I put this into this new mode and I'll put back the ultraviolet LED. This ultraviolet LED has a couple of little tricks in it. So what we have now is we have ultraviolet, but we also have colour panels in the in the overlay. So we have a game here which has been specially hacked and modified. And as you can see, we have now got control of the RGB LEDs from code. So Vectrex is now driving the frame and it can control the ultraviolet lights, it can control the colour of the other lights, and it control it can control each individual LED and we just code it up and it'll send the instructions. So we can do all sorts of elaborate patterns. And the point of doing that oh, that's no good, that'll be alright so that when we play a game we can actually code in some special effects so boom I pick up a good object get a nice green flash I pick up a bad object you get a red punishing flash but there's something I want you to note on the bottom left half of the screen there's a panel just there which has got the red ink on it so do you see what happens when you hit something bad, like the wall? Um, so that rat, that's bad. Boom, you see how that panel flashes up in red. So what we can do is we can design overlays with red, green and blue and ultraviolet panels in different places that highlight different bits of the screen depending on what's going on. So that's, that's what we mean by interactive. Um, so we're thinking about something like maybe a Simon game where you can have the different panels for the different colours that you've got to hit and when you hit them the LEDs will flash and the panels will flash so I'm going to show you again see? bad um, next level so now oh, hit the ball but yeah, it's honestly working quite nicely now. Stop picking up the bad things. So as you can see, yeah, we have uh, that's it. We now have uh, an interactive um, ultraviolet frame with lots of colours. It's decided to stick on a strobing mode because I haven't written the code yet to do nice, something nice with the intro screen but I will I promise um, so hope you like that and I hope that's uh, informative
Thank you.